Maybe Brogan, you could tell us a little bit about the technology while they pull up the video. Explain to us, and here comes the video. Yeah, it doesn't have sound, right? Perfect. So why don't you talk over this a little bit and tell us what we're seeing and how it works. Yeah, one of the things that is super important we're trying to educate people is we are building this. You know, um, the original white paper is brilliant. The system level architecture really is a new form of transportation. Uh, but we've taken that and we started really over from scratch. We started looking at cargo and passengers and now we're building the hardware. So a lot of that hardware you're seeing in this video um, are some test equipment we have at our uh, Los Angeles facility. We built our own wind tunnel so we can test low Reynolds number, you know, um, high speed. Uh, flow, low pressure, we built our own levitation test rigs, so we can validate our testing technology. That's the levitation test rig right there. Um, I don't know why we show that little tube. Um, but so we're really building the physical hardware. We're doing the hardcore engineering uh, in some core areas to bring this technology home. And now, how does it work in terms of on a technology basis? I think we all know there's a tube and the air is taken out of the tube to reduce friction. And that's where my knowledge of the Hyperloop, and um, full disclosure, I'm an investor. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, got my little piece. Um, so tell me, how does this technology work beyond we take the air out of the tube? Right. So actually, there's still some air in the tube, okay. which is one of the brilliances of the architectures. It's not a hard vacuum. If it were a hard vacuum, we could go faster and there'd be less friction, but it's a potentially catastrophic failure mechanism. So, wait, wait, wait. What is catastrophic failure mechanism? Well, if you engineer a system to have zero air and there is any leak, it would be bad, generally. Bad meaning explosion? No, but well, we haven't really done a lot of work on that. But yeah. it's energetically bad, um, aerodynamically bad. So when you engineer a system to, to, to uh, operate in very low pressure, then a leak, uh, you end up with a very robust system because we can assume over a multi-hundred kilometer set of tubes, you're going to have a little leak. So now you just either use a little bit more energy or you go a little slower. So we feel we have a really robust overall system. So we have electromagnetic uh, propulsion that accelerates the vehicle. Also, because of the low drag, you really give it a discrete acceleration and then you coast for a long time. So that's part of the innovation to really bring the capital expenditures down. It's not fully powered, you give it discrete pushes. Ah, just think about all the time and effort and money you spend going to meetings, going across town, getting stuck in traffic from Palo Alto all the way up to San Francisco, out to Oakland, traveling across the country, going to Seattle, going down to L.A., back to New York. It is exhausting, and it is a waste of time and money. Most meetings could occur with the help of GoToMeeting, and they would occur flawlessly. I know because I do these meetings all the time. In fact, I've been meeting with a dozen entrepreneurs every week over GoToMeeting, back to back to back, recording these meetings and sharing them back with the entrepreneurs as I give them feedback for when they come to the launch festival in uh, March, March 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, in fact. And I can only do with GoToMeeting because... Everybody can use any product they have, computer, tablet, smartphone, doesn't matter what operating system, it just works everywhere. And it is HD quality with perfect, perfect HD sound and the ability to share screens. And it never hiccups, it never has bandwidth problems, it just always works. And that to me is the key. You know, if you're gonna do these kind of virtualized meetings, they can't be breaking up and they can't have poor fidelity. They have to be perfect. So here is your call to action. This is what I want you to do right now. I want you to go to gotomeeting.com and try it free for 30 days. There is nothing to lose. Visit gotomeeting.com and click the try it free button. Do it now and have your first meeting up and running in minutes. It literally uh, works so simple that I have like, like little Google Calendar uh, Chrome extension where it puts a go to meeting button every time I create um, uh, a meeting and I just press boop go to meeting and it generates a code gives everybody the code everybody knows the link boom and it just works so go ahead and go to go to meeting.com and get your free 30 day trial it's a great product I've been using it for years I love it it's a pleasure for me to read uh, you know an ad about go to meeting because I don't have to read it because I use it it's literally on the list of my top 10, 20 products that I use every week. Uh, it just makes me super efficient in meeting with entrepreneurs. So uh, thanks to our friends at GoToMeeting. And if you're a super fan of the show, go ahead and thank at GoToMeeting on Twitter. They love to see your support of the program. Okay, let's get back to this episode. <laughs> 